before cycling, I was a runner, a high-level runner. I did cross-country running, was two times national champion. In 2012, I got uh, really big problems in the season. And then I went to the doctor and they discovered in the end of July 2013 that I got diabetes. So all the puzzle parts fell in places. When Brian Kamstra was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2013, his career as a professional athlete looked to be over. But after meeting team Nova Nordisk rider Martin Vyshkor, his sporting ambitions took him in a new direction. For me, it was um, really difficult to find out how I can manage it. And I had no, no, no body, no role model who, who can teach me how to, how to manage it. And then I met uh, Martijn. I find somebody with the same condition as me and yeah we got like in really good contact and we're now like good friends so he teach me so much about cycling uh, not not only my management for diabetes but also how to race and how to perform and train so I got like a new role model Martijn invited Brian to the Team Novo Nordisk training camp a big gamble but Vashkor saw that Kamstra had the potential Sometimes you see uh, how much motivation somebody has, and I see he has the right head, the right motivation. He's just a fighter, and in cycling you need to be a fighter, you need to be smart, and he was a great runner. And I think yeah, he, was, he has so much motivation that we can give it a try here at the camp. And it wasn't just his fellow riders who were impressed by the young Assen native. Vasily Davidenko, who oversees the pro team, also quickly saw his potential. And since Kamstra's first camp in 2015, he has risen through the ranks to the pro team. I was impressed at uh, how exciting he was to join our team. And also, I saw physically just look at him and his lean, his feet. My first opinion was we need to test him and see what's his potential. But uh, in uh, Brian's case, uh, we need to remember that he was champion in the running. And that's why he already has something that, you know, something special. A graduate from the development squad himself, Kamstra knows its importance for the team. Yeah, I think it's, it's the most important part of the team because we need to develop and and find riders with, with this condition and get them to pro, pro cycling uh, events and in the pro squad. So you need to start from, like, basically from the bottom. And Kamstra's journey has also shown his teammates the importance of using cycling to help others affected by diabetes. Yeah, I feel like an ambassador now. In the beginning, I was just a cyclist six, six seven years ago. I just want to be a good cyclist. But now you see, like, yeah, we have a great sponsor and you see like it's not it's not only giving money and good luck with cycling what it is when we go to a race in, in England or we go to tour of Poland or we go to, 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 to a race in China. We always communicate or Novo Nordisk is always communicate with the local people, people with diabetes and we have a meeting and we share the story. As well as this mission off the bike, the team have big ambitions in the saddle too. With 2021 being the 100-year anniversary since the discovery of insulin, Team Novo Nordisk are hoping to commemorate this by debuting in the 2021 edition of the Tour de France. And Brian Kamstra is one of their big hopes to lead the team. A rider like Brian, he could be ready for 2021. And in fact, every rider who's at early 20s now could be good potential, could be ready for a Grand Tour in 2021. But of course, it's a long way to go. I want to, to be competitive there, and uh, I'm, I'm still trying to, to find what, I'm, what, what kind of cyclist I am. If, if I'm good enough uh, in 2021, I'm probably 27 then, so I should be on like top level then. Got a couple of years of uh, pro cycling, and yeah, I, hopefully I'm the, I'm the GC man for the team and can can make some good results there. So I'm looking forward to that and like the the, the progress and like the way to the to the Tour de France.